Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV, with me, Get Daved. We're about to start Chapter Four. Because nothing's more awesome than a revenge plot line. This is Maya, she's a dancer. At least that's <laughs> actually just dancing, apparently. Kill French authors. A good starting amount. Well, that was very nice of him to say. So, Maya's the elder of the two. And is the dancer, as mentioned. Is not the responsible one of the two of them. And Mina is probably my favorite character in the game. I've commented a lot that I like this chapter the best, and the reason for that... Yep. Yeah, we'll get him. The reason for that is... You've got two characters, which makes it a bit interesting. But more significantly... Neither of them is really a tank. Like, this is the. Mina and Kirill have very similar stats. So, imagine Princess Elena's chapter with Kirill as the tough guy. That's sort of the dilemma we have here. So, we've got good magic options. Mina's a little bit better offensively than Kirill, at least at this stage in the game. Oh, you want some tomfoolery, eh? Hey? <laughs> I like how it's full of French romantics. Bonjour. Wait, wait, wait. I never noticed that until now. Manager Octoi. That's awesome. Silk robe. Fantastic. Now there's a nifty little thing to help you get started in this chapter, so there's a bit less grinding than normal. The dancer's costume is extremely expensive, but weaker than the silk robe, so we can pawn that off for, I think, like 300 or 250 or something. Sea of Strength, mildly tempting to use that one on me, though, but... A bout de monde. Goodbye and good luck is what he was saying. Blondale? <laughs> oh, I bet. Pub is only open at night. Kind of a normal thing in these games. Alright, so we could start with the Hunter's Bow, which would really help with Maya's attack power, but she's ultimately not going to be a remotely heavy hitter. This is another kind of interesting dilemma, but first things first, let's sell this, uh, the dancer's costume for 300 Okay, we've got money. And actually, before I buy anything else, I am going to finish exploring the town, lest I find a hat or something that I could have, you know, accidentally purchased. Oh. Another poet? 
Aha, a leather hat, as predicted. Worth at least the money uh, to purchase it. That could be 48 coins right there. There we go. Alright, we've got... That's actually Blondell on the other side of the door. Kind of a piece. Being protected by... Real Saint. This chapter actually hints at some fairly complicated stuff, too. Wayfarer's clothes? Fantastic. They're weaker than what we have, but again, money, money, money. So we could actually have, like, a starting income of easily around 500. As a matter of fact, I think we're already guaranteed that now. Yep. So their father was an alchemist. Murdered by his own people. I've heard that tale before. Okay. Now hairbands are kind of nice. Uh, cheap, fairly strong. Great value. Everyone should have ten. Actually, compared to hardwood headwear, they're pretty normal, but... It would be nice to get a little bit of armor, but honestly, they're... They're both not terrible. I mean, if you remember Tornaco's chapter, he wasn't that great at that. So, I think what I'm going to do... Sell the leather hat. Sell the Wayfarer's clothes. Oh man. I just got a really ambitious idea, actually. And I happen to have 525. I'm going to try something I've never done before. It's kind of crazy. I'm going to head north. Higher encounter rate in the uh, grass, so avoid that if you're not looking for a fight. Mina has heal, so that'll help us go a little bit longer. Maya and Boria are statistically very similar. Maya can use slightly better equipment, and she has fire spells, which typically... They're, may... they're more reliable. I'll put it that way. This could actually be bad. We could be off to a rough start here, everybody. Ugh. Oh boy. Alright, finish off the food, dog. Don't make me pay for my impulsiveness. Woo! Alright, primary threat eliminated. Dang it! <laughs> oh, we're off to a rough start, everybody. Alright, Mina's got this. I probably should have stayed closer to home. Purchased equipment. There's lots of things I could have done better. But I'm so close! Financial efficiency! Alright. At the item shop. Uh, we can afford a chain sickle! <laughs> it's eight points stronger. This was such a terrible idea. <laughs> So she would do four more damage with her attacks, and we will take the same amount of damage incoming. Yeah, <laughs> I think I regret this choice. <laughs> well, the feathered cap's a good option. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Alright. Welcome to a new town, everybody. The good news is... 
we can stay for free. As long as at any point in the game, if you come here and you have Mina or Maya in your party, you can stay here for free. Now unfortunately that doesn't revive a dead character, but it's a start. Doesn't it sound great? Just a little farming village with alchemy. Yay! That's useful. <laughs> Ooh, jump. Looks like a lot of people are going to have a revenge motive against Balzac, who is apparently the worst man ever. Alright, good times, everybody. It's about what you expected would happen. Oh, wow. Oh. Cave to the west. Well, we're not going to go for that right of way, because I got beaten within an inch of my life. It was a little bit of bad luck that they ganged up on uh, Maya there, but... Alright, nothing down the well. This honestly won't have that huge of a long-term negative consequence. Nice to see that his place was trashed, though. No one's been back since. Seed of life. Alright. So, <laughs> commence operation, get back to the south. Did I happen to pick a, ch a chimera wing? No. Well... We're adding a little bit of suspense. If we get a little farther south, the encounters will get easier. Horny Devil. This guy can't be that bad, although he's got kind of a funny name. Now that Mina has armor, she's taking three damage less with every hit. Yeah. Everybody, don't do what I did. I cannot stress that enough. Um, every encounter, or the first couple of level ups, means so much. The good news is my levels up faster, so they'll equalize very quickly. Mina is one of the slowest level growers in the game. Resurrection. At least it's cheap, because she's on such a low level. be nice to get her a feather hat. That'd be better, better use of our money. But it also comes to my attention she, her attack basically does nothing. That's alright. I'm going to show that I learned absolutely nothing from all of that. So in this situation, actually, the chain sickle might be a completely worthless purchase. Slightly different enemies on this continent, but they do resemble other ones we've encountered. Splatty Punk, I think, is new. He's a weaker version of the Splatty Punk. Makes sense. What am I doing attacking with Maya? Oh, yeah. Secretly, I'm just trying to get her to level 2. And map this peninsula. Alright. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of similarity between these guys and the level, or the chapter two enemies. Apparently, a lot of Nintendo DS emulation lag is associated with not having a complete world map as well. Do with that what you will. 
This is gonna take a while. Screw it, I'm just gonna buy her a weapon. We've got her the hunter's bow. She'll have reasonable attack power. It'll be awesome. Also making decent money. It would be nice if we could equip this. Well, we can equip this on Mina. It would be nice if we could equip it and then give the copper sword to Maya, because she does have the offensive magic, keep in mind. This essentially obsoletes her spell. Which. You know, I'm not terribly keen on, but it's not terribly efficient, but life is fragile. Okay, now we're going up, and this is the sort of situation I should have waited for to go up uh, to Obludamon in the first place. I was about to get upset, only running into walking sticks on the way there. Well, that was a very disappointing start. Also, if we use it in combat, I believe she'll guard herself? Well, maybe not. Maybe that was just in the original. I believe I may have given you some misinformation in Chapter 2. exploration I could still do but by and large I'm gonna save it for the next video I'm gonna do a little bit of the grinding off camera just to try getting a little bit of money because the cave to the west is a little on the tough side um, it's basically a sprint to find Ujam and once you find him you're set uh, but getting there can be a little tricky and we probably want to be well definitely higher than level 2 anyway so I'm gonna do a little bit of that off camera I will see you all in the next video everybody Thank you.